Hi and welcome to Zoom TV. I'm Aaron Pitt and I'd like to invite you to join us as we explore things that fly, drive and float so you don't have to. Today, thanks to one of our premium partners, Prestige Honda, we go inside and find out exactly how they make buying a car easier. The new Nissan Patrol is now out and thanks to Northside Nissan, we head off road to find out just how good it really is. And my partner in crime, the King of Smooth, Alan Simons, investigates two hot deals thanks to Phoenix Holden. And our Asanda celebrity hitchhiker today is the King of Swing, Carmelo from Dancing with the Stars. So take the shoes off, get comfy, it's time for Zoom TV. So you're looking for a four-wheel drive that'll top to three and a half ton, fit in seven people, perform as well as it does on-road, off-road, and of course, is luxurious. Well, let me tell you a few things that I know. With a car that'll pull three and a half ton and fit in seven people, it's gonna be a big car. And with a big car, there's a few sacrifices you will have to make. And those sacrifices that are a given are normally acceleration and on-road performance. Well, people, I have some news for you. Thanks to Nissan, you won't have to sacrifice anymore. I'd like to introduce you to the brand new Nissan Patrol TIL. Nissan have proven that they don't make rash decisions. It's been at least 15 years since they had a major upgrade or alteration in the Patrol, choosing to make tweaks over the years instead of confusing their audience. I'm sure their thoughts are, if it isn't broken, why fix it? And the Nissan Patrol was not broken as it has always been and still is a very popular choice for the off-roader, the traveller and of course the family. One of the biggest changes applied to the new Patrol is Nissan's new powerful 5.6 litre V8 petrol engine. Nissan believed that the petrol at this stage was the only fuel that allowed them to deliver the efficiency and class leading power they were after. A new diesel is rumoured to be on the way very soon. You get a choice of three models and for the moment one gearbox and that's a seven speed automatic with manual mode. Now today we're in the top of the range TIL thanks to Northside Nissan which gives you all the luxury you could ever want. It gives you sat navs, cool seats, power steering, air conditioning, everything you'd want, DVDs on the back for the kids and a V8 5.6 litre petrol engine. Now wait till you hear this. <laughs> now that's an engine. There's the man, Richard, how are you? Real pleasure, how are you? Now, now you said to me, come back and drive the new Nissan Patrol. Yep. I didn't wait, straight into it. Love the car. It's bigger, it's bolder, it's more powerful. What's going on? Um, look, Nissan have uh, been uh, quite a while in coming up with the new product in, in the new Patrol and uh, they made a decision that they wanted to go above and beyond where they were before and reset the benchmark for luxury and, and performance at the same time. Now, one of the things that I know a lot of people used to say about big cars like the Patrol and, and of course the Nissan, well, they, were, they were big cars to drive. But now with all the safety features, they're made to feel like a small car. They don't feel heavy, yeah. you know, that, even though they are. Um, and that comes down to the new suspension system and the new gearbox that they've got in these cars. They really do make it a subtle ride. The thing I like about the Nissan Patrol is it is a big car, but you get behind that steering wheel, you sit in your comfortable, pretty much lounge chair, you've got your big steering and it's just so responsive. The engine just picks up, acceleration is good, and it just feels like driving more well, sports car. Well, one of the things that they knew that they had to do was to make it that much better. They knew that with the gearbox, for example, it's a seven-speed gearbox. You know, and go and find another four-wheel drive that has a seven-speed gearbox with the option of a manual mode. Now, how do you find the four-wheel drive mode? Of course, it's automatic, so when yep. you want, you just stick it into auto, chooses two when it has to, four-wheel drive when it gets a little bit stuck. Now, that in itself is pretty smart. It's, it's extremely smart, and the great thing is, is if you're not a four-wheel drive expert, you don't sit there thinking what's going on with the car because you don't feel it. It just does it automatically for you. So you can be as, in, as involved in the car if you want or just sit back and let the car do its thing. That's exactly it. That's the kind of car you want. It is, it is. Nissan have held nothing back from being included in the all new Patrol. It has all the luxury and safety currently available on the market today to ensure you and all your passengers are comfortable and above all safe. 
Later in the show, I'll take you through a brilliant safety feature that Nissan has included in the patrol, which will almost guarantee you the safest on-road and off-road driving experience. Got a personal question for you. Are you a Ford person or a Holden person? That's a battle that's been raging between the diehards for years. We'll never change your mind one way or the other. That's not why we're here. But we've come to Phoenix Holden today to show you two very special cars that if you're not in the Holden camp, could make you wish you were. Phoenix Holden has been established in Wanneroo in the newly developing northern suburbs of Perth for over 30 years. Their commitment to their business has seen them become the largest car dealership north of the city and increase their team to over 200 staff members. Of course, the full suite of services is available here from new and used vehicles, expert servicing, finance, parts and insurance. But that's not really why we're here today. We want to show you just how good the Holden product is and show you two reasons why you don't have to spend a fortune to get yourself into a great car. The first of those reasons is this. It's the 2012 Commodore SV6. If you're thinking of buying a Commodore, then this is the one. It looks the goods, offers sporty ride and handling and won't chew through the juice the way a V8 will. You notice an SV6 straight away by the larger front grille with a bolder, more muscular look, accentuated by the aggressive lower air intake. There are also 18-inch twin-spoke alloys, a body kit and sports suspension to complement the sport's rear spoiler. This is a Holden sports vehicle through and through. The interior focus is on quality, with a real pilot-oriented cabin. I think you'll be impressed the first time you slip into the Commodore, you'll notice the comfortable form-fitting seats. Very nice car. The S-style sports front seats with deep bolsters and body-hugging contours are a good fit for a sports car. The dash features red backlit instruments to make them easier to read, along with the matte black instrument cluster surround. You'll also find climate control, reversing camera, Bluetooth, touchscreen, cruise control and six airbags. The SV6 is equipped with a powerful, high-output, 3.6-litre V6 engine coupled to the six-speed automatic transmission. Now, there's plenty of power here, enough to worry me and the local constabulary. The big Commodore handles well, drives as a sports vehicle should, is nicely specced and has acres of space. We'll be back at Phoenix Holden later in the show to tell you just how little you'll pay for the Commodore and show you another great value-for-money car. See you then. How's that? A smooth deal from a smooth voice. Well done, Alan. After the break, thanks to Prestige Honda, we go inside and find out just how they make purchasing a car easy. That's up next on Zoom TV. Welcome back to Zoom TV. Now, at the start of the year, we announced a brand new partnership with the people here at Prestige Honda. And with their help, we've been introducing you to the brand new range. Well, today, we're gonna to do something completely different and meet one of their staff members that apparently can make the whole buying process a lot easier. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Good, thanks. Now, I've been told by John that here at Prestige Honda, you look after finance and aftercare. That's correct. Now, before I get into exactly what you do, because I, I don't really know that much about it, I'd like to say that the Honda lineup at the moment, how good is it? It's amazing. There is something for everyone and always something new coming out. Okay. Now, if I wanted to buy one of the new cars coming out and I wanted to get finance, would you be able to help me out with that? Yeah, absolutely. We can help with the whole process of purchasing a new vehicle. Okay. Now, I've got to ask you, is it easier or is it better for me to get finance at, say, a bank the way I would have done it 20 years ago or come into a dealership and go straight with you? so much easier to come in here and have us prepare everything for you. It saves all the hassle of running around. Okay, so all I've really got to do is come in and speak to you and you can make everything easy? Like magic. Okay, so I buy my car. Say I bought the Honda that you see over there. And I say to you, Amanda, I want a tow bar. Can you help out with that? Absolutely. Okay, so what about tinting? Tinting, yes. Floor mats? Floor mats. 
Uh, what about paint protection? Yes, interior treatments, the whole lot. Everything to protect your new investment. Okay, and I suppose it makes sense because if I came in and bought a new car, I want to kind of drive it and know that everything that I want on that car to personalise it for how I would live, I'm pretty extreme, is there when I take the car away. Yeah, you drive off and everything is done for you. Okay, so there's really nothing that you don't do? No. How good are you? There you go. Nice to meet you. Now, if you'd like to experience buying a car the easy way and get everything that you need on the car when you buy the car, you should drop into Prestige Honda. Go to prestigehonda.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. And just on the quiet, ask for Amanda. Well, a little earlier on, we showed you the Commodore SV6 from Phoenix Holden. And as promised, we're back to show you another great value for money car. And this is it. It's the 2011 Holden Cruise CDX. The Holden Cruise looks good, features a sunroof and alloy wheels, but for a small car, it's amazing just how much it's grown. The word small has been stretched somewhat, inside and out. There's plenty of room in the front, in the back, and in the boot. There's also plenty of power from the 1.8-litre engine, and gear changes are nice and smooth thanks to the six-speed auto transmission. Fuel economy from this engine is also outstanding. Oh, and I know you're going to like the maximum five-star ANCAP safety rating this car has achieved. Compared to some of its rivals, Holden Cruise scores big points thanks to the nice quality look and feel of the interior trim materials. The leather in Holden Cruise CDX adds a luxury touch, and we like the layout of the three-gauge instrument binnacle and clear, easy-to-read graphics. The brushed aluminium look for the center console adds a nice modern touch. So we've seen two very nice and very different motor cars. Time to talk business with Brad Short from Phoenix Holden. G'day, Alan, Brad. Alan, how are you? Very well, thank you. Okay, first things first, the Commodore. Well, the Commodore, as you can see, it's fully appointed. It's got the 18-inch alloy wheels. It's discounted at 28,970. Also comes with the rear spoiler and the rear park assist, which is great, so you don't bump into anything. Okay, you're Holden Cruise. Alan, 18,880 with $3,000 minimum trade-in. Comes with a five-star AMCAP rating, which is great for safety. They have heated leather seats and sunroof and 8 inch alloy wheels and a great value motoring. Which just goes to prove our point that you don't have to spend a fortune to get behind the wheel of a really nice car. The only place to see them is at Phoenix Holden Berryman Drive, Wanneroo. Go to phoenixholden.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Alan Simons, ladies and gentlemen, what a guy. I'll tell you what, another guy after the break, me, is going to take you off-roading in the brand new Nissan Patrol, thanks to Northside Nissan. Stick around, that's up next on Zoom TV. Welcome back to Zoom TV and on board the all-new Nissan Patrol, thanks to Northside Nissan. As I touched on at the start of the show, Nissan have included some state-of-the-art safety features in their all-new Nissan Patrol design, which will guarantee you a safe driving experience. Nissan have thought outside the square and used technology to help make it a positive and safer vehicle for everyone to drive. To help you navigate the blind spots inherent of a large vehicle, you get Nissan's blind spot warning and intervention system. This is exciting technology. When you go to change lanes and a vehicle is in your blind spot, an audible alarm will sound. Another important safety inclusion is Nissan's Distance Control Assist, which senses that you are getting too close to a car in front of you and then reacts to slow the patrol down. Now importantly, combining all of these safety features into the one car makes the Nissan Patrol one of the safest cars on the road and importantly, one of the safest cars off-road. Okay, now you can see we're coming up to a different, well, a different grade of sand. This definitely looks soft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the patrol I'm going to choose a different setting to give us the best chance to get out of there. So select sand because it's going to be soft sand. Drop it down, bring it up to four low. Now, if all that works, we'll get out of there. Now you can definitely hear the torque being pumped out by the new V8. And you can feel the actual patrol chucking the torque around between the wheels that it thinks has the best chance of getting grip. I'll tell you what, it's definitely, definitely far softer than that hard stuff, but oh, it's amazing to feel the torque going to the different wheels. And we're out. I'll tell you what, this car will give anyone the confidence to go off-road. So I tell you what, if you buy one of these, expect to take it off-road every weekend. You probably want to get yourself a car cleaning kit as well because you're going to get it dirty. <laughs>
The new V8 Patrol can pull 3.5 tonne and the new suspension that comes standard in both the TI and the TIL will guarantee when you tow, you stay in control. Nissan's hydraulic body motion control suspension system acts as both shock absorbers and stabilising bars. And when you're just having fun off-road, it provides a smooth ride and ensures that all the four wheels are getting maximum traction. You'll feel very confident taking this beast off-road. <laughs> I've got to tell you, just another hard day in the office and it's, it's, it's a very bad office, I've got to tell you, I'm not enjoying it at all. No, well, I actually am. Now, if you're looking to enjoy your daily drive, if you want a car with an impressive pedigree, a four-wheel drive that won't let you down, one that performs just as well off-road as it does on-road, it's hard to look past the all-new Nissan Patrol range. Now, to get your new Nissan Patrol, drop in and see our friends at Northside Nissan. Go to zoomtv.com.au and follow the links. It's that easy. Here at Zoom TV, we strive to bring you the most entertaining, informative and of course educational stories on things that fly, drive and float. And we do this so you can experience a product without the added sales pressure of buying it. And how do we do it? Well, we do it with our dedicated and talented production team and of course, unique presenters. This is the car you want your ex-wife to see you driving. What is your favourite TV show? Oh, Zoom. <laughs> oh, every Saturday, of course. Perfect. Hot. Good night, Australia. Now here's where you can help us, because if there's a product that flies, drives or floats that you'd like us to experience for you, or you represent a company that you think would be the perfect fit for us here on Zoom TV, go to our website, zoomtv.com.au, or download our free iPhone app and connect with us. Do you have something that you're passionate about that flies, drives or floats? Say you belong to a car club and you want to share that experience with us. Go to our website, become a Zoomaholic, upload the video, it must be less than a minute long, and tell us about it. And if we love it, we'll put it on the show. And if we really love it, you'll win yourself your very own iPad Mini, thanks to United Fuel Injection. Well, after the break, I'm back in the John Hughes Zoomobile, powered by a sander, with Carmelo from Dancing with the Stars. He's our celebrity hitchhiker next on Zoom TV. Carmelo, how are you? Hey, how are you going? Now, I'm going to tell you, my mum, again, there's a lot of people my mum wants to meet, but you're in her top five. You're a dancer, you're good looking, and you've got a little bit of that, you know, European in you. What's going on this there? Sicilian. I oh, know, it's beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? How did the dream start? How did uh, the, how I did... must say, my parents put me in dancing to mm. learn how to treat a lady properly. And I guess it worked. Mm -hmm. So I've danced with the most beautiful women. You know, Carrie Ann, Lara Bingle, Kylie Gillies, Tamara Jaber. The list goes on. Well, my mum put me in dancing because she's, she actually thought that was the only way I could get a girl to like me. <laughs> Not the fact that I dance good. But can I tell you how many guys I know, like a lot of friends of mine, who are in their 30s who are going to dance class so they can pick up girls. Really? Yes, because I think girls expect a guy to dance now. Dance evokes things, doesn't it? Yes. It evokes emotion. That's why, I mean, it I is. think the show does so well. It Everyone is. that went, has gone through it evolves. You watch a show and you, you get addicted to seeing that person it evolve. Is. Yeah, you have people like Bryn, Danielle Spencer that, you know, over the 10 weeks they evolve, you see a different side. But when you're dancing, like with Carrie Ann, I spend like eight hours a day for four months, seven days a week. There's gonna, you do form that connection and you do have to let all your guard down. So how do you get married up with your partner? That's all done by the seven producers. So, okay, so they just work out the best couple? Yeah, it's they looking for the psychologically. Best they look at, you know, like, first of all, the look, yep. body types, you know, blonde and brunette, dark. You know, so, 
Who would I be matched oh, up with? Head, you I'm know. One <laughs> brunette. <laughs> I, I'd actually see you with Pamela Anderson. Me. There you there go. You go. You in my right top ten. In my top ten. I reckon Pamela and you would look pretty good I mean, together. Well, if you know a number, you should send her a text. Yeah. Cause I, I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. You ready for the tough questions? All right, here we go. Yeah, Santa Fast Five. Okay, what was the first car you ever owned? Uh, Mercedes. It was my dad's. Oh, okay. Uh, what is your opinion of the best car ever made? Audi. It's my dream, yeah. Love it. Love it. Man with style says Audi. I get a tingle because I drive an Audi. Just yeah, no, point no, that no, out. That's, no, 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 that's, no, no, that's, that's on my list. <laughs> What's your opinion of the worst car ever made and why? Uh, Alpha. That's the first time I've heard that. So expensive, Ron. Everything's electronic. Everything has to be Alpha parts. What car do you currently drive? I drive a Ford. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. It's I a little done up for Steve, I think. It's, oh, it's not bad. Cool. It's not bad. Have you it's got really the mags? Cold. Yeah, but it's around Sydney. I live, I live in Sydney, so you've got to get in and out. You hey, can't have a big car. No, I'm not judging it. You can yeah. dance. You've danced all these guys. It's okay. Exactly. Ford F Festiva is fine. Yeah. Okay, now, what is your big, biggest fear? <sighs> my biggest fear is not making a fool of myself. I think it's like uh, not um, achieving my dreams. That's my okay. biggest fear. Okay, why? Well, I, I think. It's not ticking off my list. I have a list. Yeah. It's not ticking it off. Well, you know, I, I'm going to change my bucket list to Camelo's list now because yeah. everything you've pretty much done is on my list. Well, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> You're a great bloke. I'm very Thanks. jealous of you. Thank you very Thank much you. for coming on the show. I've got to tell you, Camelo was a great guy, but not a miracle worker. He said, I would never dance like him. Apparently, I've got two left feet. But I'll tell you what I can do, I can host Zoom TV and you can join me on Zoom TV by going to our website and becoming a Zoomaholic. While you're there, you can access previous shows, you can access hot deals from our sponsors and you can upload your very own video about what you love that drives, flies or floats. And thanks to United Fuel Injection, we will put it on our website and maybe even on our show where you could win yourself your very own iPad Mini. Now until next week, thanks for watching. Bye for now, make sure whatever you do on the roads, you do it safe. And that's a wrap.